Hello and welcome to another Rust Space Building series. Today I'm going to be bringing you the tower. The tower is an idea that I had a while ago that I'm sure somebody else probably came up with. But, however, I'm going to show you guys what it look, what it has to offer, what it looks like, and all the good stuff about it. And if you guys like it, I'm going to show you guys how to build it. Now, today what we have is that when you go through the front door, you're going to have these very, very large pillars and they're completely open. Now there's no way for the raiders to actually get up here unless they start building upwards but as you notice that I have building privilege but however I do not have <clears throat> a building covered in sight. What it is is basically one of the hidden ones that are underneath here and you guys can always fix that a little bit later if you guys wanted to add more building covers up there or not. So for now I'm just going to show you guys how to do that a little bit later but I have it hidden underneath and hopefully the raiders won't know that it's down there. Now, you won't always be able to get a 3x3 three three square zone with this tower because it always depends on your actual terrain, what it allows you to do. Now, you can always get larger, smaller, whatever you guys like. And you guys are probably wondering, well, if I do decide to do this base, uh, how exactly am I supposed to reach up there on my own? Now, all you need is basically some twig. Right now, I'm going to set this to twig so you guys can see what it's like. And all you need is this staircase right here, and you need to face it the opposite direction. So, if you guys happen to uh, have this thing completely done, and you guys want to just want to know how to get up there you guys just go up to your top of your staircase as high as you possibly can you want to jump up you want to open it up uh if it allows me to and yeah it won't allow me to for right now i'm just gonna fly up there because i know you guys can do it but i don't feel like spending the 10 minutes of jumping up there you just need to go up to your top of your ladder here have this open up and you just want to sprint and jump and as you're up there, you are going to hit the latch, you just want to spam spacebar, and as you see, I just got up here. Now at this point, you could just shoot this twig and you're good to go. I'm just going to remove it right there, and next thing you notice, you're all the way up here. Now, as you see, you guys can customize this to whatever your creative mode desires. Uh, if you guys want to have windows, doors, whatever you guys want, I just have this here, so if a naked walk by, I can shoot them, because who doesn't enjoy shooting nakeds? You guys can have a very large group base here, make a bunch of loot rooms, make this as tall as you want. You guys can pretty much do anything you want. Right now, I just have this open space so you guys can get your creative juices flowing. And I just have this up here as a fake thing, so if someone decided to group raid or something, thinking this is an entrance, I don't know. Maybe I'll just fool the dumb ones. But anyway, if you guys like this, I'm going to show you how to build it. A quick note I wanted to add while well, right before I started removing all this so I can uh, show you guys how to build this exact model. One thing I wanted to say that the raiders are going to have a very difficult time getting up there because it's either they're going to destroy your entire base and flatten the whole thing at one point or they're going to need at least say seven people or so I assume to, in order to get up there. Um, I'm assuming that there's no rock cliffs or anything that they could just uh, build up to to jump into the second floor or anything if they happen to go up here and they're only dealing with this because you can have a nice flat open plane and you guys you put some cupboards outside to protect everything yeah you're gonna need at least one to boost up there or three about four or five people minimal in order for them to just boost up there they destroy all your walls but even at that point they're gonna need two four six eight ten twelve c4 in order to get up there now, if they happen to be smart and not one of the slow kinds, they would just use 2C4 to knock this open, and they would just build straight upwards and just build their own staircase or something like that. But even then, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because, as you see, it's, it is a little bit difficult for uh, me to be able to get up to that... Uh, to that ladder hatch up there and be able to open it and stuff so they're still gonna have to knock down a bunch of these pillars use a few extra c4s in order to get up there but if they have building access they can always build on the outside so i'm gonna show you guys uh how to build this as you see i deleted my entire base around here and i just left this square foundation with the cupboard on it. The reason why I just left this here because I just want to make sure that I get the 3x3 zone uh, to exact specifications like I showed you earlier. Now you aren't always going to get a 3x3, you might get a L shape, an odd shape or something like that because it's truly dependent on where you place this cupboard square in the center and where the terrain is around you. 
Now this is the first time in like five or six attempts that I was able to get a uh, three by three area and if you're able to expand any further than that you actually have the room for that. So what we're going to do is that we're going to start with your base square and you can throw a cupboard on it or you can wait on throwing a cupboard, whatever you choose. Now you're going to start with your foundation steps. Now you want to try to place two like that, two going right on up. Now you aren't always going to be able to do this because the the terrain isn't always going to allow you to do this. If you happen to run into the problem where it doesn't let you do that, then just end it with this square, then try to do a triangle, another foundation steps in a, another direction. So as long as you're able to get two up and place a square down somewhere, you're good to go because you just want to go backwards. I'm, I'm going to remove all this a little bit later and you just want to surround your uh, building cupboard area. So before, once you get this one corner down like this, you see here, and you're ready to go around it, what you want to do is that you want to set up your walls. If you wait on setting up your walls, you're going to have a little bit of a problem because, and let's see if this lets me to do it, there we go. You're going to have a little bit of a problem because uh, once your foundation gets set up, and unless you only upgrade the twig or wood, you're still able to set up your walls, but if you upgrade the stone beforehand, it won't let you place down these walls. So what we're going to do is that we're going to just place this final wall here, flip it around, and we're going to jump up here on this foundation corner, and we're going to go around in a circle with the square foundations. If this allows me up here, come on. Absolutely ridiculous. There we go. Now we're going to go around this an entire circle. There we go. And you want to place a floor to cover the top. They're not going to know it's down there unless it's like really obvious or you have some people with... Normally I find that uh, the majority part of the raiding groups are just a bunch of like kids or something that don't really know what they're doing and stuff like that. And they're not going to really notice that you have building privilege here or building block but you don't see any cupboards anywhere. So on the majority part I believe that you will be able to get away with this without them having to try to find your building covered underneath. I think you're going to be fine, but uh, once in a while you're always going to get that smart guy that comes along and know it's there. It doesn't make it that it's uh, now it's just easy to raid your base and now they're going to make it, they're just going to nick all your stuff and you won't have, that you're always going to have this problem. It just makes it easier for them once they find it and they use less resources in order to find it. So let's say you don't care about that, you just want to continue. So we're just going to continue on to this. At this point, you just want to create your center door. So I'm going to build one here, build my foundation steps going downward. So I'm able to get up here if I fall off and I'm going to start creating my walls. Now you want to build this as high as you want. Uh, three is kind of the maximum if you're going to do that pillar idea. You can do this as high up as you want or wish. Um, you can create multiple pillar rooms like that, so say if you only wanted this two stories tall uh, because you find it too difficult to leave that ladder hatch in the center like I mentioned earlier, you can only do that two stories tall and you can just do more pillars going straight upward and rinse and repeat the same thing all over again to give the raiders more grief. So in this instance I'm just going to build an exact situation, uh, exact base design like before. So I'm just going to build all of these up and I'm going to start placing my pillars down. Oops, so do that. If these walls will behave. So I'm going to place my pillars down. Now you can also place this ladder hatch pretty much anywhere that you want. You don't have to have it in the center, you can have it in the corner, you can have it pretty much anywhere. The only reason why I have mine in the center is because I find it a little bit more difficult if somebody were to raid this house or tower, if you will. And since it's going to be a little bit more difficult in order to have that there like that, it's just more painful. Now at this point what you want to do is that you want to build some scaffolding going up the siding or something like that in order to get up to that third floor. In this instance I'm just going to save you the trouble of having to see me build up all that scaffolding to fall down a few times because I'm clumsy. I'm just going to fly up here and just place down these floors. So you would just build, again, some scaffolding going up or something, and you would just place this down afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and place down these floors. I'm going to place down this floor frame and place down this ladder hatch. Now, you want to take into consideration where your ladder hatch is facing. So if you open it up 
and you see this ladder hatch is facing this way towards the back of your wall, then you gotta realize that when you build this staircase here to get inside, that it has to be facing this way. So this, this high end has to be on the opposite end of where your ladder is opening. So it gives you the most amount of room to be able to jump up. Because if you have this in the opposite direction or facing in the other direction, it makes it extremely difficult to make that jump. So again, uh, make sure you pay attention to where that ladder hatch is going because you always got to make sure you do it the opposite way with that uh, staircase. From this point on, this is where your creative juices will be flowing and you guys can decide whether or not you guys want walls, windows, just a sniper tower just to annoy everyone and just kill everyone that you see. You guys can do whatever you want with this and just get really creative. Uh, for me, I just like to have just like a single window, maybe a uh, a door here or something just so I can shoot someone someone's annoying me or something of the sort. So I'm gonna leave this video here. If you guys like this video at all make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, make sure you tell me what you guys like, don't like, and if you guys have any questions or suggestions in the future make sure you guys post it right on down there. Now I'll see you guys in the next video and I want to wish you luck in that, in that jerky festival that is best. Oh, 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 oh,